Yo, what's up? This is In The Streets with Keese. I just came back from Sosua. I'm going to tell you the best hotels to stay at if you want to be close to the nightlife, you want to be close to the food, the beaches. It's lit all day and I just want to make sure you have a good time. So quick disclaimer, a lot of people will tell you to stay in the villa, but in my opinion, I think you should stay in the hotel if it's your first time. I would rather be closer to the action because some of the villas are like 20 minutes away and I think you should be close. That way you can walk and if you got a group of people with you, people can dip off when they ready and you know, y'all can meet and not have to try to find each other. So my favorite spot is definitely Ambi. I like the rooms, they got good food. They even got like a little bar set up in the middle of the hotel, which is cool because a lot of people hang out there. So this right here is probably like my favorite room. I guess because it's like a little bit different. It's not a whole lot of hotels like this. And it's on the first floor, so, okay. you know, it's just chill. So I like this one too. Um, I wish I'd have got a video of the downstairs of it because it has like a couch and like a little bar down there. There's plenty of beautiful women around. Some nights they have boxing matches. Some nights they have concerts. It's a lot of stuff going on. It's not quite as packed as it used to be, you know, during the pandemic but it's still a lot going on, so I would definitely recommend there. Avi has a parking lot where you can park a scooter or a golf cart or whatever you got, so that's pretty cool. It's not too far from the casino. The only bad thing about Avi is that it's a little bit further from the main strip, but that can be a pro and a con because I like the fact that I can kind of be around everybody when I want to, and they kind of be a little bit ways when you know I don't. So it's only like 10 minutes away from everything, like, like the major bars, but it's still nice to be that distance and to have a better room and it's only like $110, you know, a room. So yeah, that's where I would check out if I'm going. My second pick will probably be New Garden. Everybody in Sosua knows New Garden. As soon as you say New Garden, people are like, oh, okay, I know where to take you. I know where you're staying at. Everybody knows that. So I would probably pick that. It's real close. It's right on the strip, right around Pedro Clasante. It's right by Marumba. It's right by the beaches. So it's a good spot. Um, to if, if you want to stay, you kind of want to mingle around with people. I definitely would recommend staying on the third floor if possible because it gets noisy. It's one of the main spots that you're going to have a lot of people downstairs talking, playing cards, dominoes, whatever. So if that's not necessarily your crowd, maybe you want to consider somewhere else. But if you kind of want to have a good time and you don't mind, then yeah, stay there. One thing about New Garden is they have free breakfast if you book on like booking.com. So that's definitely an added plus. There's always women around there. The most women you possibly gonna see is probably gonna be around New Garden. As soon as you try to leave out of your hotel, it's gonna be a lot of people trying to talk to you. So fellas, be careful, have a good time, but you know, chill. So this was the room that I stayed in. It was pretty cool because I had like a little kitchen. It had like a little balcony also, like so when it like rained outside, I could just chill on the balcony and just like kind of like vibe. So I definitely would stay in this again and it was on the third floor. So it was a little bit more quiet. So yeah, if you get a chance to book this one, I definitely would. So this was the room that my boy stayed in. And then kind of like looking back, like we was like, oh man, we could have just like stayed in the same room together because, you know, I had like a little partition. Like we ain't had to be face to face. You know, some hotels are with the beds like so close together. So, you know, if you and your boy traveling together, you know, that might be an option to keep, you know, things cheap. It's also next to another hotel, uh, Valaria, but I never experienced it. And, you know, but I hear it's nice. So that may be another option if New Garden is sold out. My third choice would probably be Sosua Inn. A lot of people go to Sosua Inn because it's right above another bar of Bailey's and restaurant. And there's plenty of people around there. It's the same kind of setup. Um, it's actually, you know, kind of reasonably priced. So that's that's a third option. I've never personally stayed there, but I hear that that's real nice and it's really close to the beaches for sure. It's like the closest one out of the three to the beach. So that's another good option. So I would definitely pick one of those three. You'll definitely have a good time with any of the three. And a lot of people will tell you that, that one or the other is their favorite, but I think you really just can't go wrong. It's all about preference. And if you don't know which one you want to stay at, do one night somewhere and then do another night somewhere else. You know, it can't hurt. So all of them are reasonably priced. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to be able to, you know, wild out, do whatever you want at any of them. So, so yeah, have a good time. Check out some of those hotels. Check out some of my other videos on my channel. I got a lot more coming. Consider giving this video a like if it helped and subscribe for sure. I definitely need all the subscribers I can get and all the likes I can get. So yeah, come back, show me some love. Yeah, hopefully it helped.